West Oakland is surrounded by three major freeways and it is downwind of the Port of Oakland, which is the fifth largest port in the country. The community is a real blend of land uses. There's warehouses next to homes. And it's only been recently, in the past half century, that we've realized that this is a bad layout for public health. We have had clusters of cancers related to respiratory problems. West Oakland Environmental Indicators Project is a community-based, resident-led, grassroots environmental justice group. We focus our energies on reducing the impacts of industrialization on the residents of this community. Our mission has been about emission reduction planning and transportation related to goods movement. Environmental Defense Fund approached us for a partnership to do some air monitoring work on the ground in West Oakland. What makes airborne pollutants so dangerous is that they are not always visible to the human eye. EDF and Google brought together other partners to collect, measure, and analyze air pollution data in Oakland. Google loves big challenges that, if solved, can benefit the world. And Google Earth Outreach specializes in using geospatial tools to help nonprofits on the ground tackle those challenges. So Google brought on Acclima, who equipped our Street View cars with their Acclima Environmental Intelligence Platform, which captures scientific grade air quality measurements. What we've done is miniaturized basically an air quality laboratory into the car. So it's able to provide high quality measurement at fast time resolution. Air pollution varies over space and time, so mapping all of Oakland at different times of the day and different times of the week allows us to paint a more high-resolution picture of the air pollution on the ground, essentially making the invisible visible. The map shows these residential streets to be in red. The houses are over there. And in between is BART, the Postal uh, Distribution Center, the Port of Oakland, and a freeway. And right here, with no separation whatsoever. We have a relatively new set of houses in an established residential neighborhood. EDF partnered with academic scientists to analyze the data that we receive from the Google Street View cars. The measurements and analysis have shown elevated levels of black carbon and nitrogen oxides in Oakland. These types of air pollutants typically come from the burning of fossil fuel, cars, trucks, and other industrial sources. This is a long-term effort. We're overdue for the city to step up to do healthy planning. And we learned over the years that in modern advocacy, it isn't enough to have that deep human story. You always have to have, to have concrete evidence. The hard data always gives you an upper hand. We're really beginning to see in much higher detail what the air we breathe on the ground in the neighborhood looks like. We hope this new data can empower local communities and community groups to advocate for cleaner air. Mm -hmm.